What's the good word, y'all? It's your boy DKB here. We will be breaking down our new young running back, Braylon Allen, our fourth round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. And he's going to be rejoining Joe Tipman, his former center. Bra looking into Braylon Allen was pretty intriguing to me because, for one, you do have a lot of the physical traits that people are going to fall in love with. Six foot one, 235 pounds. Came in as a four-star linebacker, recruit, play linebacker, and running back in high school. I believe there was some safety thrown into there as well. But you look at him, he's just rocked up. He's made Feldman's freak list, I believe, in 2022 as well as 2023. And for a lot of the downside that you see with this particular build in that he doesn't have many explosive traits to him, right? He's not really bursty. Um, he's not a track star on the field. And... Ironically enough, he doesn't play like the 230 plus pound monster that he is. So we'll see if we can get a mentality shift in here. But he graduated early from high school in order to play a year early with Wisconsin. And he went out there and dominated Big Ten right away. 2021 and 2022, racking up over 1,200 plus yards in both seasons before seeing a bit of a drop off right he led his team three years in a row he's coming from a pro style rushing attack and the reason that the most significant reason for his dip in production and playing ability was that from 2022 to 2023 they changed offensive coordinators to Phil Longo so uh, you know his first two years in college he was playing in more of an eye back role a lot of gap zone scheme usage tackle center pulling techniques and then in 2023 under Phil he ended up playing in more of a shot uh, excuse me a shotgun running back role and uh coming from a guy that doesn't have a ton of experience necessarily as a running back that ended up hindering a lot of what he can do you've seen a lot more of what you saw from 2022 which was kind of minimized in that there was a lot of indecisiveness in his uh um there's already kind of a lack of instincts there just because he's not a natural running back, I would say. But then you throw on top of that new scheme, new what he's asking to do. Playing in shotgun isn't necessarily going to help him a ton when it comes to him lacking things like that burst and explosion. Um, so you can obviously see why, but there's some easy things that Jess can do to get him back on track. What we should love, though, he's coming off of 2023. When you talk about a down season, 11 games played, 181 carries, 984 rushing yards still, added 12 touchdowns, 28 catches, and 132 yards. He's had 35 touchdowns over 35 games. He's basically guaranteed you a touchdown per game he's played in um, since he came in as a freshman, which is cool, but he bounces off most would-be tacklers as you would expect with a guy his size, right? This is going to obviously bring comparisons to the King Henry like mold for a guy but i take a look at him and i think honestly he can pack on some more pounds if he needed to i don't think that makes a ton of sense but if he wanted to lose a couple of pounds and play closer to a 225 to 230 range that may help out with some of those uh acceleration agility burst and explosion traits that you may be hoping to unlock from a guy like braylon allen and that wouldn't necessarily be a change from him he's talked about how he's reconstructed his body during the 2023 offseason as well, going from, I think it was 11% body fat to 8%, which is a pretty significant jump, especially in just an offseason. But stiff arm is going to feel like a knockout punch to a lot of defenders that are coming his way, especially if you're not talking about defensive linemen. Highly productive in short yardage situations. So, with Braden Allen, there's really not a whole lot of guesstimating what you need to do in this New York Jets backfield. You're going to put him in at the goal line. You're going to sub him in when you need to for Brees Hall. But in a lot of those third and two, third and three situations, fourth and two, anything where you need somebody that can either turn a small gap into a, a conversion or just needs to push the pile, Braylon Allen is going to be your guy for that. He's fundamentally sound enough and pass protection skills, I won't say it's the strength of his game necessarily, but the size definitely helps, right? He's a willing blocker, which I talk about numerous of times is more important necessarily than anything else, right? You got to have the mentality for this kind of stuff. Contact balance and strength is always on display. 
can dance in space a little bit. Again, not necessarily a strength or something you want to see consistently in his game, but you can see when he's been in the open field or when he's had some guys surrounding him, he's been able to kind of make some magic happen. Uh, pile pusher, solidly, uh, he's solid at recognizing backside lanes on counter runs, but this also signals to me taking a guy like Braylon Allen because we've talked, I won't say ad nauseum, but it's been brought up pretty consistently that the New York Jets may be f making a fundamental change to how they want to uh, um, implore their rushing attack, right? We may be going from a heavy zone scheme, wide zone scheme emphasis to more of a gap playing style. Braylon Allen should help fit both molds very, very well. Now, some of the drawbacks, a lot of it's going to come from an athleticism standpoint, but there's more finesse than a punishing running style, which is odd for him to be 6'1", 235 plus pounds, and he's playing more of kind of like a scat back uh, than a guy that should be able to go out there and play a King Henry role or a Sean Green role or basically any running back that's over 220 plus pounds you should be able to go out there and impose your will and that doesn't seem to be something that he's necessarily thinking about or is an innate part of what he wants to be as a running back he was indecisive in 2023 again i think a lot of that was the schematic changes of what they asked him to do you did see a little bit of that in 2022 2021 was kind of the all inspiring tape that a lot of guys will look at and say this is you know in, in an ideal world who we will be able to get, get consistently not explosive or bursty so one of the things that's going to come as a drawback with that is that the change of direction isn't great pretty stiff hips as you'd expect for you know somebody that's rocked up like him but uh slow start stop right so Plays can end before they've really had a chance to develop or have any kind of uh, uh, positive success to them because he's not going to be able to just put his foot in the ground and take off. Now, he may, you know, carry some guys with him uh, and drag them to, you know, maybe get back to the line of scrimmage or grind out some of that hidden yardage, as we like to say, uh, and get a one or two, you know, positive game on what should have probably been a negative play. Um, but you don't want to see him stopping his feet in the back bill, which comes up uh, pretty consistently. So there's going to be some, some concerns there. But uh, he has all the tools to punish these defenders. He just needs to utilize it. So a huge part of what Tony Dews is going to need to try to unlock from this young man is understanding he's already going to be one of the more ferocious guys coming off the bus, stepping onto the field. He needs to play up to that standard. Nothing wrong with having a little bit of finesse in his game, but he needs to let guys know that they're going to be in for a long 60 minutes the moment he touches the ball. So it's interesting. I've seen some, some, some varying uh, pro comps for him, but generally the top two seem to be Michael Bush and A.J. Dillon, um, which I would say seem pretty straightforward. But ultimately, I'm pretty excited for this young man. He has quite a lot of room for growth. A lot of that's going to, uh, I would say, a lot of room for growth, but his ceiling isn't necessarily high. That comes more from the uh, athletic limitations he's going to have rather than skill set. So we'll see uh, if the Jets do decide to utilize him in that specific role. But let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you again. Peace.